This is becoming atrocious. People are being deceived. What are we going to do about it? We, we try to stop him. Yes. Yeah, but we talked to him, but he said if the people stop worshiping him, the stone will worship him. He's so full of himself. Of course. Did you see what happened at the house of Simon the leper? Actually, former leopard. Jesus healed him. Whatever. The point is, at the house of Simon the letter, leper, he let that sinner of a woman pour perfume on his feet. And nobody said anything. Even his disciple battered that there. I heard his treasure, treasure saying it was a waste of money because it could have been used to feed the poor. Why does he behave like he's the son of God? I ask again, what are we going to do about this? Wait, his treasurer. What's his name? Maybe we can use him. Excuse me. What do you want? Jesus is carrots are here to see you. Carrots? Can't you see I'm in a long fast? Do you think I'm in the mood for carrots? No, Jesus is carrots. Jesus is treasurer. Oh, okay. Bring him in. Good evening, High Priest. I had the most embarrassing Passover meals ever. So since I'm not getting what I want, I'm willing to give you guys what you want. What do you think we want that you can give us? I'm willing to give you Jesus' information. What? So what's in it for you? Nothing less but dirty silver coins. You got yourself a deal. Oh my, did you hear? Hear what? Jesus has been arrested. Oh my, what? When? Where? How? Jesus, I went to pray, right? I heard he took some disciples with him, but they couldn't even stay awake. So, after he was praying and about to leave, he com here comes Judas Iscariot, leading in some guards. Oh my, rebellion. More like betrayal, with a kiss he planted in Jesus' cheek. Before we knew it, they had arrested Jesus. Oh my, so he just agreed to go with them. Wait. Was no one there to defend Jesus? Hmm, if I were there, I would have showed them my skills. Actually, Peter took out a knife and cut an ear off one of the guards. Guess what? Jesus fixed the, the ear back and went with them. He did, but why would he? Can this be a part of a plan or something? How can this be God's will? Well, how could such a bad thing happen to such a good rabbi? Or what terrible sin could he have committed? Look, I think we should set up a prayer group and pray for his freedom. The enemy has done this. I agree. We interrupt regular programming to bring you this important message. This just in. Mr. Jesus of Nazareth has been arrested. Sources say that he has been brought to appear before the Jewish religious leaders. Earlier today, he was handed over to Pontius Pilate. As sources states that efforts to free him have been proved abortive as the high priests have mobilized machinery to lay false allegations against him. It has been reported that Judas Iscariot is now remorseful. If you recall, Judas Iscariot was identified as a disciple who betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. He has now sought to return the money he received as compensation for his treacherous act. But the high priests have refused to receive the money, stating that the responsibility is his. Meanwhile, we bring you back to the main story as it develops. Jesus was brought before Governor Pilate, and after changes were, I mean, after charges were laid against him, he, he neither pled guilty or not guilty. This has come as a shock to everyone, including the governor. Yes, it was reported that even when Governor Pilate attempted to implement his yearly pardon in his favor, the public chose a thief with a terrible reputation over him. Admits cries of crucify him. Governor Pilate was left with no choice but to withdraw himself and turn him over to the people to be crucified and executed. So far, our sources received no mercy from the guards. They stripped him, flogged him, and mocked him before eventually leading him to his eventual crucifixion. We'll head over to our correspondent who is currently at the scene. Here's Flourish reporting live from Golgotha. Thank you guys, it's been quite an eventful day, and we'll start by sampling the audience reaction to the situation. First, I have here with me a Jew. So, hello ma'am, what is your take on this situation? This is my problem with pretentious people. Did he not save others? Let him save himself now. Look, I have no problem with him. All I know that is if you claim to be the king of the Jews, save yourself. Did is did he say he's the king of Jews or is that just something of something other chose to call him? I don't know and I don't care. 
he claimed and said that he could destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Good for him. He really didn't hurt anybody. I don't know why people are so uncomfortable with him and his works. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, there you have it. There you have it. I don't know that Jesus of, Jesus of Nazareth is popular among among his people or or the powers be either but well, even the guards were treat him nicely earlier on he stated he asked stated that he was thirsty and in and in response was offered vinegar have you guys seen what mary put on her whatsapp status what he's in, he's a risen angel confirmation it is just real prophetic she just said i would be crucified and he was and he said that he would rise Maybe that's what she's trying to prophesy. He's risen! Oh, he has been risen! May I understand your enthusiasm, but now is not the time. Me, me and the sisters, we went to the tomb, but we did not find Jesus there. What? what? There was an angel. The angel said Jesus could not be there because, because he, he is, is risen! Then he asked, why are you looking for the living among the dead? I don't believe it. Not the slightest bit. I have to go see for myself. I, I'm not going anywhere, but I don't believe it. Jesus is risen. We saw him. He appeared to us on the road. He ate with us. We did not realize it, it was him until the end. Then he vanished. Wow, so he's alive. So he cannot be looking for the living among the dead. I still don't believe he is alive until I see him with my eyes. Peace be unto you. Peace be to you, my brother. Peace be unto you. Jesus! Yeah, he is risen!